Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back with another wafer update, which I am extremely excited about because this bot just keeps getting better and better. So if you've been following and are in the wafer bot discord server, you will have seen these announcements. If not, I highly suggest that you all get in the discord server for wafer, which is linked down in the description. This will make sure that you're getting all of the announcements as soon as they come out and you are able to jump into using the new commands right when they're available. So let's jump into the announcements that were made over the past three to four days. I wanted to let some of this build up a bit so that way there was some meat to the video. And we're going to start with... Um, Back on the 24th, which was four days ago, Assassin, who is the developer, uh, dropped an announcement that you can now use XP Boost uh, as a command in Wafer. Now, those of you that hear this may think, oh, well, that's you know kind of pointless because you can do that in the game. You can, but these are so much better, and I'll show you why. So, using the first command, we're going to type x forward slash xp boost view. And this is going to allow you to view the xp boost that you have. You can also view other players, like we've mentioned before. Uh, under user, you can check by a person's Discord username as long as their account is linked to Discord. Um, and then you can check by a player name, which is the Epic name, PlayStation name, Xbox, whatever. Um, if you want to check your own, you don't put anything in. You just submit enter, which is what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video. And it's going to show you, I currently have three XP boosts that I can use for myself. I have 254 that I can gift to others. And it shows how much I'm being boosted right now and my commander level. So just all the detailed information that we need to see. Now, I can also use XP boost while using Wafer. And... I prefer to now do it this way versus in-game because in-game you can do it one by one. But with Wafer, you can use multiples. So you can set the amount, which I have three, so I'm just going to hit three. And I'm going to use three XP boost um, right there. Well, it actually, I'm logged into another bot. It's showing my main, but yeah. So you see it applied three boost right away. Awesome. 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 I, I love it. I, I didn't have to hit multiple things. I didn't have to, uh, try to, you know, tap multiple times. Like it applies all those boost, uh, right away. So I'm going to actually log in, um, to my main account for this and now the boost that I have I can type XP boost and I'm going to use those three that I have on myself and there you go successfully applied the boost and now if I type XP boost view and hit enter. I should have used those three, and I did. There you go. All three were used. So I can also, in turn, give XP, which I'm at 254. I don't know about you, but I don't want to sit here and just press the button 254 times on a person's name and try to figure that out. That's just not going to work. So I'm going to XP boost gift. Then I'm going to select the player's name. Um, which I'll go ahead and just use Mrs. True Warrior 1. Do not hit enter here. You want to let it find the match so that you select the name here because the bot will look for it. Be sure you select here. Don't just hit enter. Then I'm going to select amount and I'm going to set how many I want to give. I'm just going to go ahead and put 54. I want to give 54 of these to Mrs. True Warrior right now. And after I do that, I'll hit enter. It's going through the gifting process. 
and there you go. It just continues to build up, build up, boom. I have successfully gifted 54 boosts in a matter of seconds versus trying to do it one by one by one in the game. This is awesome. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. And then if I type my XP uh, boost view, you should see that it has spent 54 and now I have 200 remaining. I can't love this enough. So this is how you can use WaferBot to now boost XP. All right, the next announcement that was made was that the WLink, Unlink, Accounts, and Find commands, those were all initially set to the W um, option. Those have been moved to slash commands. So now you'll just type forward slash link, and you can click here. You'll pick the display name of your in-game name. So I will go with the true warrior underscore. It's going to show up. I'll select it. And then if I hit enter, it will connect that Epic account to my Discord account, which in this case, it says you have already linked this account. So I can't do that. I can unlink the account, though, by typing forward slash unlink and doing the same thing. The true warrior underscore. Let it show the name. Is it going to show? There we go. True Warrior underscore. Hit enter. And it says my account has been unlinked. So now the True Warrior underscore account is no longer linked to my Discord. I can also look at a list of my accounts by typing forward slash accounts. And this is going to show all of the accounts that are currently connected that I have set through Wafer. These aren't the accounts that are connected to my Discord. These are just the accounts that I have set up in Wafer. So you see True Warrior Jr. still on there, but it is not connected to Discord. If I want to relink that, I just go ahead and type the forward slash link, the True Warrior. We'll let that show up, grab the underscore, there we go. Um, well, now it says that this, I've already linked this account. I don't know how since I unlinked it, but um, but that's how you do that. It. I don't know. I must have. I don't know. I'll have to ask about that. But yeah. So, but you can link and you can unlink with that. You can also find accounts by using forward slash find, and this will allow you to search for an account and it will show you information about that account. So that's something you guys can use as well. Um, moving forward to some new features that they have is that now, uh, there is a device authorization. So you can, um, let me go ahead and log in. I want to select an account to log into, log into loneliness, and I can type forward slash account device auths. And this is going to show all of the devices that this account is currently connected to. And it's device authorization one of six, so it's selected or connected to six different accounts uh, or devices. I can scroll through those and look through them, find out all the information. And from there, I can delete device authorization from particular uh, and specific devices that I no longer want connected. So this is a way that you can verify that your account is only connected to the devices that you authorize. And if for some instance you find that there's a device on here that you don't recognize, you can just delete that device authorization and then change your password, which allows you to make sure that if somebody did have your password, they no longer are going to have your password now. And then you're able to uh, keep your account secure that way. So this is a really, really good one that I like. Um, the other one is there has been an update to the anti cheat command. Uh, the forward slash BEAC will check whether you have easy anti-cheat or battle eye. Um, this now has a bulk option. Um, so you can click here and bulk and you can hit true or false. So if you want to see all of your accounts, 
you can just hit true and it's going to show all of your accounts and what they're connected to um so true warrior juniors on battle eye true warrior mr warrior on easy anti-cheat and loneliness on battle eye um so this is a good way to know which accounts you can run on uh the same device and which ones you can't because you can only currently run a battle eye account um, one battle eye account at a time on a single device whereas you can run many easy anti-cheat um accounts on a single device so and they change i'm not sure of how they change when they change but they do change um so uh it's always important that you check that before using the commands to try and run the same account on you know one single pc all right and the last one here is going to be an addition um added to the br command forward slash br is now going to show all of your br information but it will also show you the number of cosmetics that you have on page three so this has been added this is something we've already gone over before all of the different br information that you have but now there's a cosmetic section here that shows everything that you have how many loading screens, gliders, contrails, outfits, back blinks, tools, all that is all now displayed here. So you can use this as a flex for your friends and say, hey, you know, I've got this much or that much, yada, yada, whatever you want to do with it. It's just another uh, way to show some transparency and give you uh, more control over your account and visibility. So I really am grateful for Assassin and the hard work that he is putting into this bot and making it better. So this is really, really good and I enjoy it. Okay, last but not least is not really a command, but it is more of a hint that Assassin dropped in the announcement and that is that he is working on an auto sending and collecting expeditions command. How amazing is that going to be to have way for automatically send out expeditions for you and collect the rewards. So it's just constantly sending them out. That will be a huge help when it comes to training manuals for like the survivors or traps if you need the traps and uh, the materials. So that is going to be a good one and I cannot wait for that to come out. So stay tuned here. Be sure that you have su subscribed to this channel so that you get um, the video showing this stuff when it comes out. But more importantly, go join the WaferBot Discord server server because that's where you're going to get all of your information immediately you can also join true warrior gaming which is linked down below as well our discord server is connected to the disc or to the uh, wafer bot server for the announcements so all of the announcements come there as soon as they're dropped in wafer bot so uh, both places are a great way to get the information um, but i want to highly encourage everyone uh, to be in the WaferBot server and support Assassin with all of the endeavors that he's putting in to making sure that this bot is uh, is one of the best out there and will eventually be the best out there. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below. If uh, there's something you have you know, a question about what, as it pertains to Wafer, and I'll do my best to answer that. You can also, like I said, join our Discord servers and ask some questions there. If you have any issues, use the suggestion command um, or the or the bug report command, depending on what you need. And uh, Assassin will get those, look into them, and make sure that, uh, you know, he gives you some updates. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.